Hey guys, we're gonna do a Michael Kors watch today. The only thing I wanna recommend before you do a black watch is that for some reason, they're super tight to open. Not in all cases, but most of them. Um, the best way to go about it is make sure that you have enough room. I'm gonna use one of these pin remover bases and the arrows pointing, I hope you guys see it. Yeah, this one's pointing up. I hope I have. I can show you. Yeah, so the arrow's pointing up this way. So we're gonna hammer it down from this end. We're gonna take the band apart just to get more access to the back. And I'm gonna use uh, one of these pin removers that I have here. And I'm gonna hammer the pin out just like that. Alright, so the pin's out, let's just make sure it's not bent or anything, so good. So the pin's out here, and I just make sure you place it somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Now, this is a MK, MK8161, we're gonna use one of these wrenches, I always use them in the videos. Uh, this is probably the best one to use for somebody who's doing it at home. I also have this one, which is the other tool that I carry all the time. This one's really good. It gives you less control, but it's a lot bigger in size, so you can do bigger watches with it. This one's for like, like a 50, 52 millimeter watch, and that usually takes care of uh, most of the backs even if it's hard to get so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take make sure that we hold it firm in our hands because there's more chances of this scratching now based on that I'm gonna be very very careful here I'm gonna adjust the wrench size just like that I'm gonna tighten it like from this and I'm gonna hold it and Got it, okay. This took a little more effort than I thought it would. All right, perfect. So now it's nice and loose. We're gonna leave it on the bottom here. Okay, so we take the back off, nice and easy. This is the gasket, it comes out. I would just leave it on the side and make sure you put this back on because otherwise you lose all the water resistance if you don't put the gasket back on so this plastic casing right here is basically used so that the the hands uh, the machine doesn't move freely inside so it keeps it in its place but when you're removing it make sure that the stem and the crown is pulled all the way out so make sure it's all the way pulled out see as soon as you do that it kind of loosens up here so I would place my hand right in the center and use one of these crevices to just lift it up a little bit. It's nice and easy. I'm gonna place this on the side as well. Now, this is a Japanese mechanism. Okay, so this is a Japanese mechanism right here. And it doesn't really say like I'm, I'm not sure because I've always seen this but it says there's a 5 and there's an 11 and there's that little ring th looking thing right there I don't know what that name is but it's a Japanese mechanism and um, they come with two coils and they're very nice and clean mechanisms to be honest Especially when it comes to Michael Kors, they they don't use the cheap mechanisms. They use slightly better mechanisms. They're not Swiss made, obviously, but they're Japanese. And uh, we're just gonna take the battery out. We're gonna make sure that we hold the machine down. And we're gonna lift it up slightly. When you lift it up, lift it all the way up, and just pull it right out. 
So this is a 390, that's actually a 371 battery. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this down for a sec. We're gonna take a 370, 371, same type of battery. We're gonna pull it out of the packing. I'm just gonna place it on top, just like that. Slide it in, don't even push it. Slide, and just like that. When it's sitting nice and comfortable in there, push it down. Make sure the watch is running. Obviously, I pulled the stem out, so you won't see it. Let's put the casing back in first. Push the casing, just like that. Make sure that you press the, the crown in. Now it should be working. What's up, man? So once you have that going, uh, make sure that the gasket goes in first. Take one of the small tweezers, make sure that you place it right where it's supposed to land, not on top of the machine, right in the crevice that's around like a ring right around it just like that make sure you slide it right on top there you go make sure the the casing is nicely pressed in take the back pull right on top and just very nicely easily keep going tightening the back right on top just like that and as soon as it get tight as, as soon as it get tighter use the wrench again place it and then start going very slow don't overdo it because you might end up scratching it nice and slow tighter all right that's it don't overdo it because you will end up scratching it. And for the black watch, I don't recommend you be very rough with it because the coating comes off. So take the pin back, push it right on in between. Make sure that it's holding it and down. And take the base again and hammer it. Just like that. And just at the right time, and you're all set. And that's how you do a Michael Kors watch battery. Thank you.